Hello friends, welcome to my channel or back to my channel as the case may be. Today we are doing spread number 55 of our 1001 tarot spread. This is a spread about finances, specifically how can I get a little extra cash because I feel I'm a bit short. We will be using the Darkwood Tarot to explore this spread give a bit of a demonstration to see how this spread works. Let's get into it. So when would you need this spread? This five card spread is for those times when you're just a little short on cash. This might be in your business, that might be in your personal life. It's for those moments when you're like, I'm a hundred bucks short. How am I going to find a hundred bucks this month? And a hundred bucks is just a number I pulled up. It could be, I need a thousand. It could be 2000. It's, it's whatever in your circumstance is that little bit more money to cover what needs done in a month or what needs done in that particular period of time. Card number one is who or what will help me resolve this situation. Card number two. Can I do this on my own? If so, how? Card number three, is there a new official source of income that I could, could bring up? A new job, a new client, and is it viable? Will it be enough? Card number four, is there an unofficial source? And is it viable? An unofficial source would be something that's not taxable income. So that would be, is there someone who can give me just a, a quick loan or a, a gift? Will there be some sort of unexpected windfall that will help me make it through? And card number five, what is the ideal outcome? What would be just chef's kiss, perfect, everything works out? We're gonna shuffle the cards and we will see what they have to tell us. Okay, card one, two, three, four, and five. So card number one answers the question of who or what can help me. In this case, we have the King of Swords reversed, which leads me to believe you're not going to get much help. You're not going to have some white knight just walk in and solve the problem for you. Because the king of swords in the upright position is someone who has conquered their trials. In the reverse position, it's someone who is, instead of having conquered their trials and become better for it, they are someone who is a despot. They are someone who will have strings attached to their help. They're a tyrant, not a good ruler. Card number two. Can you go it alone? And if so, how? We have the Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands in this deck is an interesting card. It is about illusions. What is real? What isn't? What has substance? Being reversed, this card is asking us to examine what we are envious of and why. There are powerful lessons in understanding why we want something someone else has because it's not always a need sometimes it's just a want but sometimes those wants have needs behind them an emotional need rather than a physical one can you do this by yourself yes if you let go of the illusions and actually seek your actual reasons for wanting or needing this money Card number three, is there an official source of income that you can develop in time? We have the Six of Pentacles. If we examine the art on this card, we see a devilish figure who is dropping coins in one woman's hands while another is signing a contract. 
long story short, yes, there are official ways to make this money. Be sure you know what you are signing up for. The devil is in the details. Make sure that as you sign contracts, either getting a new client, picking up a second job, that you fully comprehend what you are committing to and what you will actually receive in return. Be cautious, but still proceed. Take action. Just be aware that you are choosing the consequences as well as the benefits as you make this choice because they come hand in hand. You can't separate them. Card number four, is there an unofficial source of income that can assist you at this moment? We have the Four of Cups. If we look at the imagery on this, on this card, on the Four of Cups, we see a fox with four empty cups in front of her. But just out of sight behind her, her mate is coming up with dinner, with food. Yes, there is someone out there who can help you in this moment, but there's someone you haven't thought of yet. There's someone who is close to you in some form of relationship who is willing to help, but you haven't thought to ask yet. So examine your circle, examine the people in your life and think, who am I actually comfortable asking for help from? And then take a chance. There are more people willing to help you than you believe. Card number five is the ideal outcome. In this case, it is justice. Justice is where both the law is fulfilled and people receive what they deserve. In this case, you will be able to meet the financial demand. But to do that, you're going to have to have your eyes open. You're going to have to look forward without, without cherry picking the information. There is a reason that the figure of justice is carrying the sword of truth. You can only truly reach a just conclusion if you are willing to accept the truth of the situation. This brings us to the end of our last five card reading. Next time we will be doing a six card reading and we will be trading decks to a different deck. Did you agree with my interpretations of these cards? Did you not? Let me know in the comments. If you liked it, please hit that button. If you really liked it, consider subscribing that you might see my next videos. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!